We're here again in the Cutting Edge Garage and we're here to talk to you today about multimeters. More to the point, we're here to talk to you about a true RMS multimeter versus a traditional multimeter. Because that's generally the first question, right? Why a true RMS meter versus a regular multimeter? What's the difference? Why do I need to spend the extra money when I can buy a cheaper meter somewhere else? So the answer to that question is, is relatively simple, although the technology or math mathematics behind it is a little bit more complex. So I'm going to do the best I can to just simplify this. If we had a typical sinusoidal wave, or also known as a sine wave, works just like this. And a traditional multimeter is going to average this. So if we have ground and five volts, what we're going to get out of this when we measure this with a traditional multimeter is we're going to get two and a half volts. It's going to average, and that's assuming that all of these peaks go from ground all the way up to the five volt uh, threshold. As we start moving towards uh, more sophisticated systems, we have uh, HVAC controls. When you turn the blower motor on in a traditional uh, vehicle, you had a low, medium, high, or a maybe one, two, three, four position. Nowadays, when you turn that blower motor on, it's a variable resistor, right? Your almost infinite adjustment from off to full on, right? If we're gonna get accurate measurements when dealing with that, when we're dealing with any type of digital square wave or anything that is not a traditional sine wave, a true RMS meter is required. GM, for example, require their technicians to use a true RMS meter for anything that they're turning in under, under warranty repairs. RMS stands for root mean square, and that's the mathematics that's going on behind the scenes to get that accurate measurement. With all of that said, I'd like to introduce the latest in our multimeter lineup. This is the SP62016 True RMS Auto Ranging Multimeter. Comes in a soft carry case, very rugged design. It's got a good solid rubber bumper, goes all the way around the meter for heavy duty use. It has an auto on, well I'm sorry, an auto off function. It also has a backlit display, which is easier to see in certain conditions. The SP Tool 62016 measures AC and DC voltage, AC and DC amperage up to 10 amps. It also measures capacitance, resistance, diode continuity, and frequency, both electrical and electronic. And this meter can be found at sptoolsusa.com or can be purchased from your local SP Tools franchise. Make sure you rush out and get yours today. SP Tools, manufactured for the professional.